that initial referral assessment, I met one of the gym staff, it was Dan at the time, um, in the reception of the leisure centre. Um, I didn't have to go into the gym at that time, so that was really good because that was something I was a little bit apprehensive about. So I was taken into a really private room. Um, Dan asked us quite a few questions. There was a couple of questionnaires to fill in, dead basic stuff. Um, I, my measurements were taken, height, weight, to work out BMI, um, just dead basic stuff. And Dan was really supportive throughout that process. And that just gave them an understanding of my health and my fitness and what I wanted to achieve. So it was a really positive first um, assessment. Well, when on my way to the gym to start off with, it was actually really difficult to get up the staircase just to get there and I literally had to pull myself to get up the stairs to get there to the door. But I just kept reminding myself the whole time why I was there and what I wanted to achieve. On walking into the gym, it was a bit of an alien environment and I was looking around, looking at all these alien things and, you know, yes, some people with beautiful bodies, um, but equally some very normal people as well. And as I was thinking, I'm just about to walk out of here because it's so strange, um, one of the staff approached us, it was Mick, and he was just so warm and so welcoming and it just everything else just disappeared and I wasn't anxious anymore and I was just motivated to get started. Yeah, I mean initially um, a programme was set up to meet my needs at the start of the, the scheme. My fitness level was very, very low. Um, I could barely run for 30 seconds on the treadmill and that was after a couple of weeks actually. Um, so the programme was tailored to, to meet my basic level of fitness at the time and throughout the programme I was monitored regularly, um, a couple of periods I was had a full check throughout that but all the time there was staff on hand constantly um, in the gym coming over, motivating you, checking that everything was okay, there was always someone to call on and I have to say all the staff are absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really proud to say that in the six months um, I was doing this scheme, I lost a total of £40, pounds. Um, so obviously really happy about that. But I think not just the weight, more so my fitness level just improved massively. In initially, I've got a six-year-old son and initially I could barely run around with him or play with him, didn't have any energy really to do anything and that impacted on so many areas of my life. So, you know, it wasn't just about losing weight for me and really I've changed my entire life as a result um, of doing the scheme and that might sound really huge but it's at the absolute truth. You know, my mental health's improved, my physical health, I feel better about myself, self-esteem, it's, it's just been a really life-changing experience. At the six month point, I was really, really happy um, with what I'd achieved, but I was a little bit concerned that I was coming off the scheme, maybe I wouldn't have that support anymore, would I keep the weight off, would I keep the motivation going? So I kind of thought I need to set a few goals for myself, so I signed up for the Great North Run. I stayed attending the gym and I took out the membership, which is amazing, I'm really pleased to have that. Um, I was a bit worried that again the support wouldn't be there in the gym, but it is and that absolutely doesn't change at all whether you're on the scheme or you're not on the scheme. I haven't, haven't had a negative experience with anything. I really feel like this is my second home now. Um, I've maintained my weight loss. I've kept up my fitness level, probably improved it again. Um, and I did achieve the Great North Run in two hours, 48 minutes. And I'm really proud and I hold that medal tight. Um, and if it wasn't for the scheme, I wouldn't have that. So I really appreciate everything that the scheme did for us.